Okay, now comes the last part of the video series. In this video, you will see how we can interface a 3D camera with Siemens S7-1200. All right, so I'm using a PLC Siemens S7-1200, 1212C is the controller number. And now I'm going to read the values which the camera is reading in our physical environment in the PLC database. So let's see how we can do that. So the good thing is IFM has provided a sample program in which we can just open, download in our PLC and we can trigger that. So I'm going to show you the results now and then I will show you how you have to configure it, what are the settings required. But first, let's see the results. So here you can see I have an input which is called trigger input. So I will just turn it off at the moment. So I have to trigger this input. This will trigger the camera and find the measurements. So at the moment you will see here these are the last measurements and if I show you the camera these are the last measurements. So I will move the box a little bit. So you can see here results were freezed. These are the last measurements. That's the position, that's the length, width, height. So I'm gonna move the box now. And now we have to trigger the sensor. In this case, I have to trigger the input of a PLC, which is M0.0. So I'm gonna make it a little bit short. So you can see the information is updated. So maybe we can put it down. So here I have my PLC and there we go. So you can see that information will be updated here. Maybe I can put it like this. And here you can see number of measurements taken is five at the moment. So I will reset that, now it's zero. And now I'm going to trigger it, modify one. And you can see that this information is updated in the software and these values which are coming here are also coming in the PLC. If you want to see that, I have a function in the bottom. Here you can see all the values, width, height, and length, position, angle, qualities. So all the information which we have selected while configuring this application is coming here. So let's take one more example. I will move the object. And I'm going to trigger it again. So I will turn it off and turn it on. So you can see that the object is updated here and the information is updated here. So this is about how easy it is to get information in the PLC from the software itself with the sample program provided by IFM. Now there are several settings involved in building up this communication, which are very important. It took me about one hour to synchronize the camera with the PLC. Now what are these settings required? Let's see that one by one. So when you go for your application, so if I go to my application, it will stop the sensor. This is my first application which we discussed, dimensioning of rectangular object. So here you have to make sure IO switching is off. This is used to switch the application. So I don't need it at the moment, so my IO switching is right now off. So these are different options. Now if I go to my application, so I'll go to my edit, let's see what are the different parameters we have to set. Here you have to make sure this is process interface like I told you because in this interface PLC is going to trigger the camera. Simple as that. Rest is same, your reference plane at the background and then your direction of movement. This is no because I have my static object. Open configuration is Ethernet. Process interface, these are the values which I want to read. That's it. That's, that's the setting. You just need to have process interface. Other thing you want to do is, I will go to my device setup you have to make sure this Profinet name is similar to Profinet name in your PLC. Okay, this is very important. So I'm gonna show you my PLC again. So in the PLC programming, if you are aware of Siemens PLC programming, if you're a beginner, maybe it's difficult for you to understand. So I will go to my, first of all, device and network, and that's my device. So if I show you here, in the PLC itself, I have mentioned the Profinet name should be automatically selected. This is the name. And actually this is the this is automatically generation. But if I show you the online and diagnostic for my camera, sometime you may fee, you may find some error that camera and PLC are not communicating. This is because of the Profinet name. This happens since last one hour. So if I update the list, so you have to click on update list in online and diagnostic in your camera. Here you will find profited name. And if sometime if you have an error in your PLC and camera communication, here you will find a different name or it's not set. So you have to set this name. You have to click assign name and update list. This will be working. Second thing, which is very basic one is the IP address of the camera. Here it's 192.168.0.69. 
this should be same in the camera itself. So you can find it in the networks. So here, you, if you enable DHCP, it should not work. So this is automatically set by the PLC. So if you want to check what's the IP address of your camera, if it's not 0, 0 0.69, you can check it by pinging the PLCs or, or camera. For example, I can ping 192.168.0.69. So this is talking to my camera and getting the result. This is to a kind of way to verify what's the IP address set inside the camera. All right. So when these things are set, you have to download the program in your PLC, and then you have to go to main logic. So in the main logic, first you have to see this is the trigger source. And here, this is the app number. Now what happens, this app number defines which network you want to enable. So here you can see this app number is one. So if app number is one, this block will be triggered. And this is the block for dimensioning, which is provided by IF. And if you put the app number two, that's the block for completeness, which, which we will check in the next video. So in this video, we just check the dimensioning and getting the value in the PLC. Is it that simple? So if you can see this DB completeness, sorry, dimensioning, here you can see the values coming inside. And I will just make it like this. Let's trigger it one more time. So right now my trigger, okay, not this one, this is completeness. Trigger DB is here. So my execute is false. So I'm going to move my object. So the object is here. Monitor again. I will move the object. And now I will go to my PLC and execute it once. Modify. I make it true. Okay, I can't execute from here because of the logic itself, but you can see if I execute from my program here, because this is actually going to my execute, this is external input, I can execute from here again. And this will actually execute here. So this is true and we have the values coming in our DB, which is a dimensioning DB. All right, so this was about how you can fetch the values from the camera to a PLC just by triggering. All right. In the next video, we'll see the completeness application, the second application in our IFM camera. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.